America is the greatest place on earth. Mm, yeah, not so sure about that. This is Face the Facts Friday, where you get no BS takes on the latest vegan news, followed by a roast of the worst anti-vegan comments I've seen this week in our Meat Flakes of the Week. So get ready to get fact. Thanksgiving just happened over in the States, and in true American style, it got weird. <laughs> America is the greatest place on earth. Mm, yeah, not so sure about that. <laughs> Nothing quite says giving thanks like killing defenseless animals and making sexual jokes about their corpses. Right? Here, I'll put it in a language most Americans will understand. Y'all need Jesus. Turkeys are amazing animals, and you should show them some compassion and some respect. This is depraved, degenerate behavior. If you're an American and you're offended about what I said about America, all you gotta do is prove me wrong. Go vegan. Or get in the comments and tell us why you won't, if you dare. What do you do when you're a celebrity who no one cares about anymore and you desperately want to stay relevant? You do an ad campaign for the dairy industry. Milk. Most Americans have tried it at least once. Some people drink it every day. But recently, dairy deniers all over America are subjecting them to milk shaming. Just listen to these stories. I'm on a first date. Everything's going good. I asked the waiter for some milk to go with my chocolate lava cake, and my date just left. And when the milk finally came to the table, she came back and threw it in my face. Poor guy. It was my turn to bring the snacks for my kid's baseball game. Who doesn't love a little chocolate milk, right? Apparently the moms. No, thank you. No, you can, you can, can keep out. out. In the coach. Now my son is playing second outfield, which is a parking lot behind a fence. I've been trying to keep his spirits up, Look what's coming your way. Hey, look, bud, look what the, your boss coming your way. How about that, huh? But it's tough. Wow. I was running for city council until the local paper printed a picture of me from my college yearbook chugging milk at a frat party. <laughs> milk, baby! Oh, let's go! <laughs> No, no, don't use any of that. So next time you're about to shame someone for drinking milk, think about them. And also this lady. And maybe this little kid. Don't they matter? If you've been a victim of milk shaming, call the number on your screen. Together we can pour milk shaming down the drain. You're literally breastfeeding from a cow. <laughs> This was basically an anti-kink shaming ad. I mean, hey, you know, whatever you're into, let a thousand blossoms bloom. People are entitled to their sexual proclivities. But you shouldn't abuse and kill animals. And that's exactly what the dairy industry does to cows. So next time you're about to shame someone for drinking milk, think about them. I just uncovered a vegan hit piece. People left disgusted after learning how vegan meat is produced. People feel sick after discovering how vegan meat is actually made. Grim footage revealing how vegan meat is made is putting people off. People left feeling sick after discovering how vegan meat is made. All complete with scary screenshots and comments from social media users like Ick! Gross! That doesn't look fit for human consumption. Sounds like people are really kicking off about this. Except they're not. Those comments were three of the 17 comments on a video posted to YouTube two years ago with just 17,000 views. A video that has about 10 seconds of the production process of Tofurky, which as they state in the video is very similar to how bread is made. Hardly disgusting or gross, really, is it? This was clearly a hit piece paid for by the meat industry to put people off eating vegan over Thanksgiving and Christmas. The media organizations that took those bribes to post this should be ashamed of themselves. And when it comes down to the gross production, I'd choose this over this all day, any day. Greta Thunberg, the... Well, you know who she is. How dare you! Just hit the news recently for this clip. War is always bad, specifically for the planet. If we want to continue uh, fighting battles like environmentally conscious humans, we must make the change to sustainable tanks and weaponry. There are so many new concepts for uh, battery-powered fighter jets that can carry many more um, missiles. 
biodegradable missiles, of course, something literally everybody can do to stop this nonsense is, for example, block the roads to gardens and farms so the plants don't get overrun by these heavy, heavy tanks. Hand grenades, very important. If you use hand grenades, please use vegan grenades. No animal should have to give their life for all this mayhem and chaos. They have a special sticker on them. You really can't miss them in the uh, grenade market or wherever you buy them. Yeah, I cover all of this and more in my newest book, Vegan Wars. I agree with Greta. If we're going to do war, we should make it as vegan as possible, shouldn't we? Jokes aside, that was a deep fake. Greta didn't really say that. But as is the case with a lot of these viral deep fakes, it's believable. Please use vegan grenades. Over the past year, I've seen tons of people who would consider themselves progressive, including vegans, people who you'd expect to be against war, calling for all out war. It's not only the meat and dairy industry spending millions on propaganda, guys. Be vigilant and don't let these warmongers make you hate each other. Christmas, every vegan's favorite time of the year. Not really, right? Surrounded by dead animals, annoying anti-vegan relatives, and having to defend your lifestyle five times a minute isn't really anyone's idea of a good time. So this year, let's do something fun instead. I'm hosting a vegan Christmas party. It's going to be a fun-packed night with stand-up comedy, live music, and of course, a ton of vegans. I'm going to be doing a stand-up comedy set myself as well, so if you're a fan, come along. It's happening on Friday, 15th of December in Birmingham, UK. You can pick up tickets by clicking the link in the description. All the money we make is going directly to a vegan animal sanctuary. So you get to come along, have some fun and raise some money for a good cause. See you at the party. This is just sick. UK supermarket Sainsbury's released this Christmas card showing cute piglets in snow with the message, don't worry, we're getting some blankets. Meaning, don't worry, someone's gonna slit our throats, cut us into little pieces, wrap us up in other pieces of our bodies and call us pigs in blankets and serve us at Christmas dinner. Is anyone else getting Dharma vibes? We're gonna hang out and watch a movie. Take some pictures. Thanks to some pressure from the people rightfully disgusted by this card, Sainsbury's took it off the shelves. How did anyone think this sociopathic Christmas card was a good idea? Is this the coolest dog you've ever seen? Good work, Papa. And that's just one more reason to be kind to animals. You never know when you'll need one to have your back. You know, one thing we never see is vegans winning in athletic competitions. I think it's, oh, a vegan just won gold at a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu International Championship. Jacqueline Gaihi from Germany competed in an international BJJ competition with competitors from all over Europe and came out on top winning gold. Don't mess with Jacqueline. Congratulations and thank you for representing vegans on an international stage and smashing it, you legend. Now it's time to take a look at some of the dumbest comments I've seen over the last week in today's Meat Flakes of the Week. I don't care how my food dies, I need my meat. And you can't get gelatin from vegan food. <laughs> gelatin though. How do you live without gelatin? Where do you eat gelatin from? Mate, your vegan videos are a lot of rubbish. I love eating meat in. Yes, taste does justify murder. That's why I eat it. Why are you so obsessed with vegan stuff? Can't you find something else better to do in your life? I'm the one that's obsessed, not the one who's DMing me regularly. Why eat leaf all your pife? Just eat some good fried chicken. Lezrin. How to enjoy life. Still wondering how you get your protein. <laughs> I get protein from plants because all plants have protein. And before you tell me they don't have enough, I think they do have enough protein. We eat herbivores because they kill as many plants. What a balance we have. What? How many animals are killed for the vegan farms? A vegan farm would kill no animals. That would be the point of a vegan farm. I think the premise of milking a cow is cruelty is nonsense. Life is cruel. Maybe a creator should have given us chloroplasts instead of needing to consume another living thing to survive. No, it's not cruel at all to force your arms inside a cow to get them pregnant and then take their baby away and kill their baby and then kill them when they stop producing as much milk. It's exactly the same as growing a crop and then eating the crop. 
Obviously. You only like white straight vegans? No. How is this dude going to criticize Christianity whilst wearing a goat hat? Like this. Christianity doesn't make any sense when it tells people to kill animals. If you're a Christian and you actually care about the world you live in, you would be a vegan. And if you're not a vegan, then you're not a very good Christian. Sorry. I would eat a steak right in front of you. Okay. The only thing this really shows is that all these Vegas rights activists all have the same issue and have barely any difference between them. I don't know what people in Las Vegas need in terms of their rights. Uh, I, I can't comment on Vegas rights activists and what they do or don't do, but hey, I'll look into it. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Since plants are living things, doesn't that mean vegans are eating living things? Yes, I'm a meat eater. Vegan equals nonce. Hmm. That new Slipknot song doesn't sound too good to me. Oh, they've kind of gone a bit weird lately, haven't they? I do not dislike vegans. I dislike vegans who are annoying. Translation. I do not dislike vegans who let me do what I want without feeling bad. I only dislike vegans who make me feel bad for abusing animals and try to convince me to stop. Pretty accurate, right? Keep meditating. You are still a narcissist. All right. Okay, let's give it a go. <sighs> No, I'm still a narcissist, sorry. If you want to help me with my vegan and animal rights work, check out the David Rams Patreon and YouTube teams in the description.